David Reynolds heads into this weekend's Tasmanian round of the Australian Supercar Championship full of confidence after a stellar start to the 2018 season. The Bathurst 1000 winner finished on the podium in Adelaide before picking up a race win at the Australian Grand Prix meeting in Melbourne. Simmons is a track Reynolds knows well and enjoys racing at. Yeah, Simmons Plains is um, a very, very, very tight track. Um, it's very important to qualify there. You know, qualifying separated by, the whole field separated by six tenths of a second. So it makes it very, very vital to qualify at the front. You know, technically when you look at the track, it, it looks pretty simple on paper, but it, it's actually really complex to race around and to get a good lap time. Um, you know, there's only really three or four corners there, so it's got one of the slowest corners in Australian motorsport. First gear at the hairpin turn four, they call it, but it's about 60 k's an hour, 55 k's an hour. And the back shoot, we do about 280 k's an hour. So you know, it's got quite a mixture of fast stuff and slow stuff. Reynolds' win at Albert Park has given him great confidence for the Tasmanian round, although he will be hoping that it stays dry. Yeah, we're, we're, we're really excited to still be second in the championship after round two. Uh, we won the last race, which was all good, it all went to plan. I started second, got a good jump and led the, ra re led the race from start to finish. Um, the other races didn't really go to plan. We've got a little bit of work to do in the wet weather conditions. Our car's not as fast as what we like to be. Also coming off a high from Albert Park is Walkinshaw Andretti United driver Scott Pye, who took out his maiden supercar win in a nail-biting twilight race in very tough conditions. Pye knows that he'll have to keep that pressure firmly applied if he wants to repeat his Melbourne success in Tasmania. Yeah, crazy feeling to get my first win on the weekend at the Grand Prix and, uh, and you know, to have everyone there at the very end, as soon as I got out of the car, you know, almost the entire crew was there already. So uh, a crazy feeling, one that I can't really describe. Uh, I mean, when I crossed the finish line, I wasn't, I wasn't jumping for joy or fist bumping or anything. I was just, uh, it was just an emotional, you know, just uh, it was such a high. Uh, anxious moment throughout that entire race. There was no opportunity to relax and, uh, and as soon as I crossed the line and, and realised I got the win there and it was all said and done, um, it was just a, a massive uh, sigh of relief and, uh, and then obviously you realise the accomplishment as well. But yeah, coming into pit lane and, and seeing everyone out in the pit lane cheering us on as we, we cruised down the, the, the lane at 40 was a, a feeling that I won't, won't forget, that's for sure. And you know, being up on the podium as well there was, was a really cool feeling and, uh, and the support you get is amazing. I mean, to get the first win, uh, it's a, a big, big tick for me and I'm sure that now it's, uh, it's going to be equally as hard to get the next one. So we need to push on and, and keep trying to get it. But for sure, to get that first one ticked away is, is a big relief. And, um, and now I'm just excited to go to the next event and, uh, and try and put it back somewhere near the front again.